Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here in nature, baby. I hope your day is going good. But are you struggling to love yourself right now? You can't find one thing you like about yourself. Forget about love about yourself. Uh-oh, 10 signs from the universe. It's time to love yourself 100% now, let's just, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. So that's the question that came in. Ralph, how can I love myself 100%? Because I'm really not loving myself right now. Many times we don't really know how to love ourselves because we haven't been taught. And along my journey, I started to realize, along my early journey, there were some signs that it was time for me to love myself 100%. Deep divers, do you want to hug yourself right now? You do, don't you? You really do. But is something stopping you from doing that? And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> okay, let's dive straight into it. Now, first and foremost, shout out to everybody who's been getting the good ass prana merch at ralphsmart.com slash clothes. If you've got a question, a message, add me on Instagram at infinite waters. So the first sign from the universe is time to love yourself a hundred percent now. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. What is self-love? What is self-love? Because I just did a video on self-acceptance, okay? Self-acceptance is about knowing who you are, okay? Self-love is about nurturing it. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Okay? So, self-acceptance is saying, I am this willow tree. It accepts itself, okay? Self-love is the constant watering, the cultivating, the cultivating so it can actually grow, okay? Self-love is nurturing, okay? That's the huge difference because you can accept yourself, but when we talk of loving yourself, that's really what will help you grow and go to the next level. Now, the first sign from the universe is time to love yourself 100% now is to stop comparing because you've been doing that for the longest time and that's a sign from the universe you better start loving yourself right now you see comparison is the greatest thief of joy and we are all programmed from childhood to compare ourselves with our friends our parents are also comparing us to their friends children it all starts from there but once again, we are not victims. Once you are aware, you can rectify the situation. Now, we are very competitive as a society. Even from school, what grade did you get? Okay, so that's all the ego mind. And that's why so many people cannot love themselves. Ralph, look at her body and look at mine. Oh my gosh. Now jealousy arises. Ralph, look at him. He lives in that massive mansion in Beverly Hills, in Malibu. What about me? <laughs> Comparison is the greatest thief of joy. It will prevent you from loving yourself, which will actually stunt your growth emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Look, I get it. We love to compare ourselves with other people because it feels like, hey, I can actually be accepted. <laughs> They'll actually love me. Self-love is all about you loving yourself. Forget about everybody else. You see, the only time I compare myself to other people, apart from the cat down the road, is if it's gonna inspire me. But so many times in this society, we don't use comparison for that. We use comparison to get one up on somebody else to say, nah, 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 nah. I'm doing better than you. But when you are comparing yourself to somebody else, there's always somebody 
above you in the ladder. On the rung, right? Someone's always got more money than you. Jeff Bezos, <laughs> Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, right? So you're never gonna get that much money. There's always gonna be somebody, ladies, fellas, who's gonna come along, who's gonna have a better body than you because they've just come back from the gym. But the secret is they're never ever gonna be you. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. What happened to originality? Okay. <laughs> what happened to originality? Your originality will connect you, reconnect you back to your authenticity, which will help you love yourself. There's a reason why I'm just whew, breathing in that good ass prana, baby, and doing those slow motions because it helps me be original, which helps me be authentic, which helps me love myself because nobody else is Ralph Smart. And through this originality, you will start to learn how to love yourself, okay? Because an original is always, always, always worth more than a copy. So stop copying other people. Stop comparing yourself to other people. They aren't you, you're not them. Start loving yourself and that's where to begin. What's the second sign from the universe? It's time to love yourself 100% now. You look to others for approval, for validation, instead of looking for approval from yourself. And I see this all the time. Guess what? I was there. Alas, don't worry. I was there. I've been there. I used to ask people, is it okay to do this? Is it okay to think this thought and that thought? Stop asking other people for permission to be great. Stop asking other people for permission to live the life you know you came here to live. You see, self-love comes and emanates from knowing this is what I came here to do. I don't need your permission. You don't need to validate my existence. I know who I am. Mm. Ay caramba, slow motion this side. Mm. A lot of people, we don't love ourselves. Why? Because we're waiting for the green light from somebody else. Mom, is this good? Dad, is that good? You ask your friend, should I do this? So you are living under other people's control and jurisdiction. Living according to society's expectations of how you should be living. That's why you don't love yourself today. So along my early journey, when I was awakening, breaking free from the matrix, I'm like, look, I have the power to create my own reality. I don't need anybody else's approval. I'm going to do it anyway. And it was pretty scary, right? I'm just like, I'm just going to do it anyway. No, it's scary at first. It's scary when you want to live a certain lifestyle that's not popular, but that's what self-love is. It's about doing something which everybody tells you not to do but because you believe it so much, you gotta do it. That's self-love, baby. Self-love is not about fitting in. Self-love is about standing out even though you might be a fringe dweller because you believe in it enough, okay? What's the third sign from the universe? It's time to love yourself 100% now. You are not going to the place of your greatest power. And to love yourself, you have to go to the place where you find your greatest power. So every single day, how do I love myself? By skating every single day. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. By getting centered every single day. By doing something for me for once every single day. Going for a walk, connecting with amazing friends, okay? That's how to love yourself. Many times we are not in the place of our greatest power. We are in an environment that doesn't serve us. We are around people who don't serve us. We're stressed out now. 
You're looking a bit shaky, baby. That's why we can't love ourselves, because we are mad at ourselves. We learn how to appreciate ourselves when we start being kinder to ourselves and realize we're doing the best we can. So today, beautiful deep divers, it's time to start loving yourself. And you can do this in a very simple and pure way. Go to the place where you find your greatest power, like deep divers, right now, what will put a smile on your face? Apart from vegan ice cream, seven day vegan challenge. Okay, go and eat that right now. What has it got in it? Pistachios, cacao, vanilla, Brazil nuts, almond milk, woo, bananas, oh my gosh dates, uh-uh, you're treating yourself right now. That's how to love yourself. Do it without guilt today. I guarantee you that will contribute towards your self-love. Stop feeling guilty about going to the place of your greatest power. You wanna go for a long hike because that's what you love to do? Go and do it. Screw work, you can wait. <laughs> that's how you love yourself because once again, a lot of people are miserable in places they know they shouldn't be and that's why they don't love themselves. To love yourself, you gotta be selfish. You gotta learn how to fill your own cup because if you don't fill your own cup, you can't fill anybody else's. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. So do something for yourself today. You love to paint? Go and paint right now. Take this, take this paintbrush. I know you're a Picasso inside. Don't be a Picasso, because if you want to love yourself, you got to be original. Be your unique creation. How about that? <laughs> What's the fourth sign from the universe? It's time to love yourself 100% now. The sign is, <laughs> you are in a job just over broke, which is actually giving you health problems. You're stressed out, dark circles, tight chest, tired all the time, no energy. That's a sign from the universe. That's a red light, a red flag that you have to stop what you're doing and learn how to love yourself. I've worked in so many jobs. I know all about that. But right now I'm doing what I absolutely love and that's why I love myself 100%. <laughs> because I chose this life. Every single day I wake up with a bunch of grapes in my mouth. Not only that, I wake up knowing that actually, I love what I'm doing. Like I feel privileged to inspire millions of people. I'm happy creating. But so many times people write to me saying that, Ralph, I'm stressed out, I don't like my job. How long you been there? 10 years? That seems like a choice to me. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. 10 years? Now that is a choice. <laughs> you are choosing to be there. You see, self-love comes with a lifestyle. Self-love comes by knowing that this is the lifestyle you chose to say, actually, I love my job. This is not a burden. This is an honor. This is a privilege to be here because the more you are miserable where you are working and you're spending eight, nine hours there, you won't love yourself. You will turn in on yourself. There's a great African proverb. When there is no enemy on the outside, the enemy on the inside cannot hurt you. And also you can reverse that. When there is no enemy on the inside, the enemy on the outside cannot hurt you. You can do it both ways, right? So learn this. When your boss is no longer your enemy, when your boss is no longer your enemy because you are taking responsibility, there's no enemy inside here. When you are no longer a victim, when there's no enemy in here, there's no enemy outside. So to love yourself, leave a job that is no longer serving you because you're better than that and you owe it to yourself. 
if you're serious about loving yourself. The reason why self-love is so important, because, because if you don't love yourself, who's going to be there for you? You have to face yourself every single day. So it's time to start loving yourself. And you do this by nurturing yourself, by watering yourself, by cultivating and planting seeds of appreciation within yourself. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> What's the fifth sign from the universe? It's time to love yourself. 100% now. Seven day vegan challenge. Is this you deep diver? You are following a food trend on YouTube or Instagram. And it's supposed to be popular, but you have to starve yourself the whole day, not eat anything, no breakfast, no lunch, no dinner, not eat anything for a week. Who does this? I don't know, but it's a new trend in town. And you're suffering inside, but you have to get in shape because it's called the new don't eat anything diet, right? And get to a size zero, okay? Ladies, listen very carefully. Fellas, listen very carefully. I know what it's like. I know what it's like when you really want to get that body into shape. I used to be like, gosh, I got to get a six pack like Peter Andre, right? That was when mysterious girl, I want that. When that song came out, right? I'm like, gosh, I, I need to get a six pack, <laughs> right? Then I realized, okay, there are so many diets in existence. Try this, try that. Like I've been a vegan for over 13 years. I'm already on a diet. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. No meat, <laughs> no dairy, right? <laughs> but I've realized this, that what is more important than following some new diet, which says starve yourself and you're not really happy about, to love yourself, start eating healthy whole foods okay because it's not about eating less it's about eating right it's about realizing it's about getting the right antioxidants eating foods with live enzymes okay because now you're healthier okay you don't have to starve yourself to be this perfect body image okay self-love comes by realizing actually i love my body i love eating these vegan brownies so what right self-love comes through spoiling yourself every now and again. You don't have to be a saint all the time. Your body, your body doesn't have to be like that supermodel's body. I actually photoshopped her image. Airbrushed it and everything, okay? They don't even look like that, okay? Self-love is generated when you're actually content with the way you look. The universe is all about creating unique human beings, not clones. And that means you also have a unique body shape and you have to honor that. Okay. So forget about following a diet trend to love yourself, create your own, create your own meal plan. And I guarantee you, you will start cultivating greater self-love today. What is the sixth sign from the universe? Baby, baby, it's time to love yourself a hundred percent now. You put, red flag, <laughs> the needs of other people before yourself. Now, I'm a Pisces. A lot of people say, Ralph, talk more about yourself. Okay, I'm a Pisces, born on March 3rd at 3.03. Look, I'm very altruistic. I've got a lot of empathy. I love helping people. And for so long, I remember at school, I actually twisted my ankle one day playing football. And I didn't want anybody to know. Cause I'm like, I gotta be this strong Pisces that's helping everybody else. So I remember like having a twisted ankle and saying to someone else, are you okay? Huh? That's not self-love, okay? Self-love is when you allow yourself to be vulnerable and say, actually, yeah, I just twisted my ankle. I just twisted my ankle. I could do with some help. And now you put your needs first as opposed to the needs of others. Once again, you can only love anybody else when you learn how to love yourself first. The greatest relationship we can have begins with ourselves. So to love yourself, put your needs first. If you have twisted your ankle, 
please, goodness gracious, go and seek out some help. Even the cat down the road is saying, go and do that right now, okay? Forget about trying to save people. Forget about trying to help other people. Help yourself first, right? <laughs> and that's what will give you more self-love. More self-love so you can actually help other people and those that need it around you. What's the seventh sign from the universe? It's time to love yourself 100% now. Okay, deep divers. Do you ever go home and look in the mirror and think, gosh, I don't look good enough, okay? Find one reason <laughs> why you do. One reason I look good enough is because I just had a green juice. This stuff is supposed to make me look younger, okay? That's one. Look, <laughs> many times we don't like the way we look. And to love ourselves, we have to fall in love with not only the image of who we are, but the essence of who we are. Mm -hmm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Very simple exercise to learn how to love yourself is to get a mirror and keep staring at yourself in that mirror until you start smiling back, okay? And that's the whole beauty of self-love. Do you like how I'm doing that, right? <laughs> that's the whole beauty of self-love. So stare into a mirror and start liking and loving what you see, okay? Many times we find it hard to love ourselves because we have an image in our minds of who we are, which is not actually who we are, but that actually ends up becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. So along my journey to self-love, the road to recovery, it was hard sometimes for me to look in the mirror and say, actually, I love myself. I was nervous, I was shaky, baby. Then I actually said, I love the skin I'm in. This beautiful melanin, baby. You gotta love how you look. And the more I started to actually say, actually, I honor how the universe made me. I became healthier, happier, and I mwah, kissed that mirror, okay? What's the eighth sign from the universe? It's time to love yourself 100%. What happens? when every single day we are not committed to forgiving ourselves, okay? Self-forgiveness is how we actually learn how to love ourselves. Many people drown in their sorrows, the sorrows of yesterday and even the hopes of tomorrow. You see, what's really helped me along my journey to love myself is to practice the art of self-forgiveness. To practice the art of self-forgiveness every single day. That means no more feeling sorry for myself. Look, cancel the pity party. I'm canceling it. You're not invited. I'm sorry because I'm not crying over myself anymore. I'm not mad at myself for what I did yesterday. I'm not holding the past against myself. Yeah, I've screwed up. Yeah, I've made a lot of mistakes. So what? And if you can get past that, you're now entering a beautiful self-love healing session. Okay, the people that love themselves the most don't hold their past against themselves. They're like, actually, at that time in my life, yeah, I was like that, but now I'm a different person. But I don't hate that person who I used to be. I realize that's where I was on a conscious level. Right now, I'm at a different conscious level, a different awareness level, and I love myself. I also love where I came from, okay? That's how to love yourself 100%. Don't be ashamed of your past. Embrace it, okay? And practice self-forgiveness. What's the ninth <laughs> sign from the universe? It's time to love yourself 100%. If you are disconnected from your feelings and your emotions, it's time to love yourself 100%. So many times I meet people who are desensitized, disconnected, out of tune. How to love yourself is to reconnect back to the energy in motion, which means you have to learn how to sit with your emotions. You have to learn how to not be in resistance with the way you feel. Many times in life, you will meet, you will meet people who tell you to snap out of it. Stop feeling like that. But if you feel angry one day and happy the next, it's okay. 
once you start honoring your unique feelings at that specific point in time, you learn how to love yourself. It's okay to have down days. It's okay to feel a little bit low. It's okay to not want to smile. And it's okay to smile as well. It's okay to feel how you want to feel right now. And that's how to love yourself 100%. Baby, baby, what's the 10th sign from the universe? It's time to love yourself 100%. Now, what's helped me along my journey is to surround myself with people who are good for my mental health. The sign that we aren't loving ourselves, okay, is that we surround ourselves with people who are toxic, negative, but we don't want to blame those people. What the universe is telling you is to say, actually, you are actually vibrating on the same frequency as those people you are surrounding yourself with who are bad for your mental health, and then you end up blaming them. So in a nutshell, start surrounding yourself with people who actually love themselves, and that's how you actually love yourself too. Mm. What? Say it again, Ralph. Wait, slow motion this side. Mm. Let me say it again. Start surrounding yourself with people who love themselves, and now you also start loving yourself too. If you are around people who hate themselves, you will hate yourself too. And that's why you have to get out of the mindset of comparing yourself to other people. You were born unique, you were born unique, and you have to honor that. And once you do that, deep divers, well, you just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful, deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature. Have an amazing day, deep divers. Just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You, I love myself. <laughs> That's good.